Hey guys, this is Camplified and in this video, we will discuss our last colligative property that is osmotic pressure. With osmotic pressure, we will also talk about osmosis, right? So let's move. <coughs> now what is osmosis? Before we even go to osmosis, we should know about one other thing, one other thing that is diffusion. What is the meaning of diffusion? Now what happens in diffusion is, consider this uh, diagram, there is this solution 1 and there is this solution 2 separated by a membrane. Membrane, we are not talking about semi permeable membrane, this is just a membrane, low quality membrane. Now what this membrane does is, it allows the solute as well as solvent particles to pass through it. So in such a case what will happen is, now look at the above condition, concentration 1 is greater than concentration 2, which means in this container solute is in excess, solute has high concentration and in this container solvent has high concentration, means solute is in less amount in this container, right. So now what happens is solute particles, solute particles will go from solution 1 to solution 2, solute particles will move from solution 1 to solution 2 and solvent particles will move from solution 2 to solution 1. Solvent particles will move from solution 2 to sol solution 1. That's what happens in diffusion. The one which is in higher concentration, that is in this case solute is in higher concentration and will move to the next container. And in this container, solvent is in high con higher concentration or higher amount, it will move to the so, uh, first container or solution 1 which have less amount of solvent in it. So in diffusion, both solute and solvent move from one place to another or if you define it properly, then you can write it as net movement of any substance from the region of higher, from the region of their higher concentration to their lower concentration is called diffusion right and this process will continue until and unless in both the containers the concentration of solute and solvent becomes equal this is diffusion now what happens in osmosis now this is osmosis let us define osmosis what is osmosis osmosis is defined as the spontaneous net flow of solvent molecule this is where we differentiate between osmosis and diffusion in osmosis the net flow or the movement of the substance which take place is of the molecules of solvent the solvent molecules will move solute molecules will not move through the membrane let's repeat osmosis is defined as a spontaneous net flow of molecules through semi permeable membrane from a solvent to a solution or from a dilute solution to a concentrated solution. This is just the transfer of solvent molecules. Now what is the meaning of semi permeable membrane? Semi permeable membrane is that membrane which allows only one type of particles to move through it. Now in a solution we have two types of particle one is solute and solvent right solute and solvent there are two types of particles now the semi permeable membrane will allow only the solvent particles to pass through it and this is defined as osmosis right now let's move one sec now consider this diagram just like diffusion, there is a container and this is your semi permeable membrane, right? Now, only the solu so solvent particles can move, right? So, suppose in this container, solute is less, solute is less. What is the meaning of this? Solute is less means solvent is in high amount. If solvent is in high amount in this container, then solvent particles will move from container 2 to container 1. That's how osmosis work. And even if solute particles are present in this container, 
they will not be allowed to pass through the semi permeable membrane and to move to the next container right that's how semi permeable membrane works and this is your osmosis right now let's move now comes to our topic what is osmotic pressure this is our colligative property osmotic pressure now there are two definition one is easy other is difficult now let's start with the easy one the external pressure which must be applied on the solution on the solution in order to stop the flow of solvent into the solution through semi permeable membrane is equal to osmotic pressure first of all you have to apply an external pressure why you are applying external pressure to stop the flow of solvent molecules into the solution through semi permeable membrane and that external pressure is equal to osmotic pressure we will discuss about this but first let's go for the other definition hydrostatic pressure developed in the vertical column when solution and solvent are separated by semi permeable membrane now i will not explain this definition much but there is this container and there is this column like this and this is your semi permeable membrane right here right this is your semi permeable membrane this column contains solvent this column contains sorry this column contains solution right and this is your solvent which is present outside the column now the the solution sorry the solvent particles will move into the column through semi permeable membrane and the level and the level of the solution will rise right now the pressure developed in the vertical column the pressure developed in the vertical column is when solution and solvent are separated this this is called hydrostatic pressure and this hydrostatic pressure is equal to osmotic pressure we will discuss the above definition more clearly now let's try to understand what is osmotic pressure from that definition now consider this diagram this is your pure solvent right here and this is your solution now what happens is the semi permeable membrane allows only the solvent particles to move into the solution the solute particles present in this container will not be allowed to go towards the pure solvent because this is a semi permeable membrane semi permeable membrane now what is happening now what will happen the pure solvent will move to the move towards the solution and what we want is to stop this flow of pure solvent towards the solution we don't want the pure solvent particles to move into the solution so what we will do is we will put a piston put a piston and apply apply the external pressure as we apply the external pressure we will reach to a certain point or a certain pressure when the flow of pure solvent particles towards solution will stop through the semi permeable membrane and this is your osmotic pressure the pressure which you are applying through the piston is your osmotic pressure understood so this is your osmotic pressure that's how you find the value of osmotic pressure right i hope you understood now comes the general formula for calculating osmotic pressure this is your went off law for dilute solutions now the formula given is pi is equal to crt what is pi pi is nothing but your osmotic pressure osmotic pressure right now c is what concentration right now concentration term that we are going to use is molarity right this is your equation pi is your osmotic pressure c is concentration of the solution r is gas constant or solution constant and its value is and its value is lit, uh, 0.0821 liter atm mole inverse kelvin inverse right now 
if you look closely at the equation you will find that this is a very much similar to pv is equal to nrt this is your ideal gas equation and these two equations are very much similar why because pi is representing pressure right now concentration is what molarity molarity is equal to number of moles of solute upon volume of solution in liter right so we can change it change the equation as pi is equal to crt or p is equal to n by v r t change rearranging the equation we get pv is equal to n r t right now pi is just representing the pressure term we can write t in place of it concentration will give you number of moles upon volume of solution in liter r and t will remain as it is so this is this will become your ideal gas equation so these equations are just kind of same this is the equation that we are going to use for solving numericals right now comes the last topic of this video what is reverse osmosis now let's first define it if external pressure greater than osmotic pressure if external pressure greater than osmotic pressure is applied the flow of solvent molecules what was happening in osmosis what was happening in osmosis b let me show you again <clears throat> what was happening in osmotic pressure the pure solvent was moving towards the solution and we applied external pressure external pressure to stop that flow and we get the value of osmotic pressure now what we are doing in reverse osmosis is we are applying pressure applying pressure from the solution side right from the solution side external pressure greater than osmotic pressure is applied the flow of solvent molecule can be made to proceed from solution towards pure solvent that is in a reverse direction of the ordinary osmosis now reverse osmosis is used for desalination of sea water for getting fresh water for drinking now let us try to understand what is happening in the definition by using this diagram now we have a piston now what what will happen is now fresh water is our solvent and salt water is our solution now what happens in osmosis the fresh water will try to move towards the so solution through semi permeable membrane so what we did is we apply we applied a piston and applied some pressure to stop this flow and this pressure is osmotic pressure right now if you increase that pressure now if you increase that pressure what will happen we have already stopped the flow of fresh water towards the solution now when you increase this pressure what happens is what happens is the pressure on this container or the sol salt water container increases due to which the particles try to move towards the semi permeable membrane now the semi permeable membrane only allows the solvent particles to move through it which means the salt present in this container will not be able to move towards the fresh water container and the solvent that is fresh water present in this container will move towards the other container so what happens is this whole this whole salt water this whole salt water solution will the sorry the salt remain in in the container and the water moves towards the fresh water the fresh water move towards the fresh water container this is your reverse osmosis and this is what is happening in ro we uh, i hope i think we all use ro in our houses for pure drinking water and that is what happening in ro inside the machines they applied the pressure and the pure water moves through the semi permeable membrane and reaches as water outlet right so this is your reverse osmosis where you apply pressure more than osmotic pressure to receive fresh water from the salt water right so this was your reverse osmosis and we have already discussed the colligative property osmotic pressure so this will be it for today's video thank you very much for watching